Welcome to the journey. Today we're gonna to talk about how to name your business to improve your online success. Let's dive in. I'm Emma, your GoDaddy guide, and I head up our local outreach over at GoDaddy Social, so very cool gig. But today I'm excited to be joined with my friend over at GoDaddy, Justin Neely. Hey, what's up? Thanks for having me. Super excited to be on here. Let's dive in. Yeah, actually it's perfect timing because okay. I was on the road recently talking to local heroes and they're so passionate and I love what they do. It yes. brings me so much joy, uh, but I can't but help to catch that bug. Like, I wanna own a local business too. Yeah. And I've had this idea back in my barista days, cause I love coffee. It's like, okay, coffee's cool. I'm gonna open up a coffee shop, but how am I gonna make this right. unique? There's a lot right, of coffee there's a lot shop. of coffee, yeah. So I took another passion, which was skateboarding. I was like, combine the two. Okay. A little caffeine kickflip. <laughs> Which, that's not the name, but it could be, I don't know, I'm lost. You're lost. Yeah, where do I go from here? And it's so common. It's something that prevents those local heroes just from starting. We have this idea, we have all these things, but getting hung up on a business name is pretty scary, so we don't end up starting. Hopefully at the end of this, you and the audience will figure out how to name their business for success. Yeah, so where do we go from here? <laughs> so first off, I think we should really identify what we want our name to convey. For you, it's probably gonna be like gnarliness and radness and everything related to, yeah. to skateboarding and that coffee experience. Mm -hmm. But for the audience at home, maybe it's trustworthiness or confidence or reliability. Really, when you're thinking about your name, what do you want it to stand for, that first yeah. thought? So step two is what I like to call a, just a brain dump. This is where you're literally just getting a piece of paper and a pen. We're gonna go old school for you guys at home. But for us, we got a tablet here. Are you up for an activity? Wait, like right now. We're right now. Okay, let's do it. All right. All right, I'm so stoked. So stoked. So once you have whatever you're gonna write on, uh, you basically just dive right in. And what I like to do to make sure like I- Like a stream of consciousness, right? Absolutely. Okay. Set a time limit, maybe three or five minutes. That way you really hone in on what you want to really That seems like discover, a limited right? amount of time though. You'll think that, but once you start going, get the pen going, it's just gonna go off. Okay. So while you're doing this, some things to keep in mind uh, with, with your business name, you really don't want it to be too long of a domain name. What's too long? Does it pass the radio test? So if I gave you a 10 second ad spot on the radio, could you convey it to an audience where they can remember it just right off the bat? Short and sweet. Short and sweet to the point. Yes. And that translates to talking to a friend or talking to someone on the street. You tell them that, that name yeah. and hopefully they'll remember it. Definitely. Like caffeine and kick flips is potentially something that, that could be that, that catchy. You like that? I kind of like it. Oh, it's just getting started. So when figuring out, out this name and going through that, that brain dump, if you will, you want to make sure that, that you don't limit your, your business name. And what I mean by this is, say I, I do pool cleaning services right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't always want to do the, that pool cleaning service. Maybe I want to expand to landscaping or whatever that looks like. Okay. But if I name my business Neely's Pool Service, I'm stuck with just being a pool service guy. Right. What you don't want to do is make it a trendy name. Remember those fidget spinners that literally yeah, everybody has? I never touched it. Right, you never touched a fidget spinner? No. I mean, guilty. But those it was a fad, right? They came and went. I knew a couple of people that started a business around fidget spinners, yeah. and now they're lucky to send 10 a month. So but stay coffee away from is like those here to stay. It's not going anywhere. Absolutely. So another thing to keep in mind too, maybe this could be considered a, a cool acronym, right? Like you have kick flips and coffee here. That could be K and C, right? Ooh, that yeah. That might be pretty rad. Yeah, keep it clean. Keep it clean. I can keep already picture simple. the hats and the t-shirts. Right, just yeah. super fresh. Oh, now I'm thinking what font too. Baby steps, we're, on, we're just not naming it. You're, <laughs> you're trying to go out there. How much time we got? Uh, stay away from either obscure words, words that are hard to pronounce or hard to, to spell or just, just terrible spelling. Mm. Like coffee, you can probably do coffee with a K, but it's gonna be hard to remember, I've right? I've seen that. Especially you wanna do coffee and kick flips. It's pretty tempting to have just K there. Oh, that's true. But I could play off I would kick avoid flips. it. Really? Why? Absolutely. It's, it's hard to spell. Justin, that reminds me. What? Because I know we're talking about websites and names, okay. but you know me and social media. Oh, it's your jam. Yeah, it's my jam. <laughs> so I'm already thinking about Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. 100%. And I want this name to be available on all three, right? So it's yeah. consistent. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, there's so much to do. So much, but it's it's not too hard. Like once you have your name, you just go to Instagram or go to Twitter, or go to search Facebook, it. search it, see yeah. if anything pops up. 
right? And see if your competitors may already have that name because that's also a problem. I know you're going to tell me to reel it in, yep. but I'm also starting to think about the logo. You know, you see what I'm saying? I can yep. see where you made a comment earlier, like people have these dreams and ambitions, but then they stick to their nine to five because they get overwhelmed. And right. it's just like, this is too much. That's why we have to take baby steps, one step at a time. Like if we try to eat the, eat the entire cake at once, we may not be able to do it, but I can probably chow down a slice at a time and by the end of it, it the whole cake's gone. Mm. You should see me in pizza. This is your, your first slice of cake. You wanna make sure you, you have your business name. Then move on to the next slice. So avoid trends, keep yep. it, radio edit, so not over 10 seconds. Yep. Super catchy, uh, super easy to remember. Yeah. Um, and make sure it's available. Yep, make sure it's all on those Got handles, it. social media, cool. domain names, all that good stuff. What are we missing? And then make sure it's something that you love, right? You want to, this is your name. Yes. So you want to make sure that at, you, you're back. invested into the name itself yeah. and you're passionate about it. You know, I think that the other way I want to look at this is not just all the points you're giving to me, um, but just making sure too, it's not too close to my competition. Yes. I didn't even think about that. Right. This is so great. I love our brainstorm sesh. We got yeah. this. And with your competition too, make sure the, the name itself isn't trademarked because I've seen a lot of business owners do that. They'll invest a bunch of marketing behind it and then get a random letter in the mail saying, hey, don't use that. And they've uh -oh. just wasted a ton of money. It's not good. So Google's your friend, right? Yeah. Just do a quick trademark search, one of the first links that pop up and make sure that it can be yours because that's important. Okay, cool. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, I feel better. Thank you all for joining. This is Emma over at GoDaddy. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you're not the last to know and you see our future videos. My business name. I think that's it. It's the winner, right? Mm -hmm. Want to tell the audience? No, no way. No. Stay tuned. <laughs>